Love is real, that's my caption for my first picture. Um, there was a point in my life when my life was messed up. I was full of disillusionment, but then came along someone to lift me up right when my world was crashing down. It was always hard for me to trust someone, but when you get to know that one person internally, you start to realize not everyone in this world is the same. This is a snapshot of my love box. <laughs> this, this box means a lot to me because it's full of memories that will always remain in my heart. We all have something that we keep that means so much to us. There's about almost 90 flowers inside of my love box and half of them are picked from the city of Santa Ana. From my city, the city of Santa Ana. Something I have learned through my youth years is that when the opportunity of love, of love arrives to your life, you will accept that love with full hands only if you're ready and you're committed. You will cherish that love, appreciate and value it, and most of all, hold on to that love like a fragile newborn baby and never ever take it for granted. The reason why I say this is because there's always going to be a person out there in the world yearning for that great love you have. When it comes to your parents, siblings, from a woman or a man, always appreciate and never take the love they have for you for granted. A day might come when they're not in this world or even in your life no more and all you have wanted to say and all the appreciation you might have wanted to show will go to waste because it might have been too late. And then my next caption is, no games allowed, be that change you want to see in the world. No games allowed means that in this life there is no time to play. The youth of today drive themselves by thinking that life is all about living it up. I agree, life is about living it up but in a positive way. Anything negative you decide to do will bring negative outcomes. Even if you don't think something tragic won't happen to you, it will. Okay, any negative thing you decide to do will bring you negative outcomes. Even if you don't think so, it does happen. Taking life seriously takes a big role in your life, in your future. It doesn't have to take something tragic to happen to you for us to realize the wrong things we are doing. I believe that our generation has way more intelligence than the past generation and even the one before that. In life, you, you go through a phase when you start to learn that we're not in this world to stay forever. It's time for us to start to move and do something positive that will leave a mark in this world. It's never too late to get back up on your feet and be that change you want to see in the world. My next caption is called, My City is My Home, and that's the picture. And I took this picture at, uh, at a North Gate. Um, and then, okay, my city is my home. There are a few reasons why. I live in Santa Ana, and the population of Hispanics here is about... 253,928, which is 78.2%. I think Santa Ana is almost like Mexico. If I took, if I look to my right and to my left, there I see my casa. This is the city where Mexicans, Mexican Americans just feel comfortable. I took this picture in my local Gonzalez Northgate Market. The reason why I snapshot this aisle was because there was a huge sombrero hung from the ceiling. It represents our culture and where we come from. I, I thought to myself that this was very unique because not in every market you walk in, you will see this. In Mexican markets like these, you hardly see people from, from other ethnicities. And it's funny, sometimes you'll run into your mom's comadre or your dad's friend or even into your own family. And then my next, my last um, caption is called the, the rose that grew from concrete. Okay, I took this picture right in, I took this picture right in front of the corner of Civic Center and Ross by, by the Santa Ana Public Library. This picture symbolizes reality that even if you come from a difficult background, you become whatever you want. You just, have to you just have to have desire and determination. This quote is actually owned by the one and only Tupac Amarosha Kurt. The first time I read this poem, the first time I read his poem, I understood it that first time. The reason why is because through this poem, there was a relation between me and him. He wanted to rise just like I want to rise. It also means that we're typically not much of beauty girls, but in this case it did. The powerful meaning represents me. I one day will be that rose, that positive thing that grew from concrete. This also represents the city and all of its evil, all of its evils overcoming the tendency for people who were born in the ghetto to never leave the ghetto. I will grow feet and I will be able to walk away from it. I will be that woman who will be looked up to for my strength and excellence. Even if I don't have full support from my loved ones, I will be that rose that grew from concrete when no one else even cared. And the caption is the sky's the limit. This picture was took in the city of Orange, a few minutes away from Santa Ana. The reason why I chose this caption, the sky's the limit, was because the sky has no limits to how high you want to dream and achieve anything you want to achieve. People take this quote a different way, but in my opinion, the quote is clear enough to understand it. It is never too high of how far you want to dream. Don't ever let anyone tell you otherwise, because one day the biggest dream you will have com will come true. When the world says to give up, hope whispers, try one more time. And all you need 
All you need is that spark of hope and a little faith to make it all come true. In order to get what you want in life, you have to go beyond what you thought you were capable of. Never be afraid to fail because if you fail once, it doesn't mean you're going to fail at everything. Keep trying, hold on, and always, always believe in yourself. Life is always full of negatives and positives, but the struggle you're in today is developing the strength you need for tomorrow. Don't give up, and most importantly, keep smiling because life's a beautiful thing and there's so much to smile about.